Hi friends, this week is going to be all about dinosaurs. Put your hands on your head if you love dinosaurs. I know lots of my bubblebee friends know lots of facts about dinosaurs. So this week we are going to be exploring all different kinds of dinosaurs, where they came from, and we're gonna learn about some new facts. So let's take a look at the PowerPoint that we have for this week. Can you repeat after me? Dinosaurs. So I have a question for you. Are dinosaurs still around? Do we still see dinosaurs today? No, we do not. Do you know what it's called when something doesn't exist anymore? They are called extinct. Can you say extinct? Extinct means that they're not around anymore. But how do we know that they even existed? How do we even know that? because we've never really seen one, right? So think about my question. Put your listeners on, your thinking cap on. How do we even know dinosaurs were real? What do you think? I have a little clue for you. Take a look. Because of these things, what are these called? Because we found their bones and those bones are called fossils. Can you say fossils? There are special people who dig up these fossils and examine them. And that's how we know about all of these dinosaur facts. Do you know what we call those people? We call them archeologists. Archeologists dig up bones and fossils. Take a look at those pictures. Those are all different fossils. And today during centers, I want you to be an archeologist to dig up dinosaur bones. So let's learn about two different types of dinosaurs. But before we do that, I have a question for you. Can you put your listening ears on? What are dinosaurs? What are dinosaurs? What do you know about them? We know that dinosaurs are really big, right? Dinosaurs are big. Are they still alive? No, they are extinct. Can you say extinct? They're extinct. They don't, they're not around anymore. And we know that there's different types of dinosaurs. So today we're gonna to learn about two types of dinosaurs. Can you show me two fingers? One, two. The first one is this one. Take a look at the picture. Can you tell by looking at the picture what kind of dinosaur this is? This is a T-Rex. Can you say T-Rex? A T-Rex was a carnivore. Do you know what a carnivore is? A carnivore means that it eats meat. It has small arms. So we just learned two facts about a T-Rex. Fact number one, it is a carnivore, which means that a T-Rex ate meat. And fact number two is that they have tiny arms. Are you ready for the second one? Okay, so right now we've learned about a T-Rex and now we are going to learn about this dinosaur. What do you notice about this dinosaur? I notice it has a long neck. Why do you think this dinosaur has a long neck? Well, let me give you a clue. Let me read the fact for you. This is called a bronchiosaurus. The bronchiosaurus was a herbivore, meaning it ate plants. Why do you think it has this long neck? So the bronchiosaurus is a herbivore, which means that a herbivore eats plants. So why do you think a bronchiosaurus has that long neck? To reach what? his food, which are the plants, right? So maybe he has to reach up really tall from the trees and eat the plants, right? So today we learned that a T-Rex is a carnivore. What is a carnivore? A carnivore eats meat. And a brachiosaurus is a herbivore. What is a herbivore? A herbivore eats plants and that's why he has that long, long neck and a T-Rex has tiny hands. So today we learned about two different dinosaurs and we learned that dinosaurs are extinct. And we know that they are extinct because archeologists work really hard to dig up the bones and the fossils. I hope you enjoyed learning about dinosaurs. Enjoy centers, bye bye movies.